Hello to everyone in the Holy Trinity Greek Orthodox Cathedral community and all of our friends. I hope you're doing well. This is Father Jonathan, and today we're going to continue our reflection on the third beatitude. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Now, we've talked a lot about what meekness is. We talked about how meekness is a humble strength, not uh, being a pushover. It's not, um, it's not being weak, as sometimes that word uh, has that connotation in today's uh, usage. But it means to be as we are, in humility, but in strength. It also means being ourselves and knowing our limits, knowing what we're capable of and what we're not capable of. And so we manifest this most expressly in our capacity to love, which is why we've spent so much time talking about the two great commandments. Because if meekness is being authentically ourselves, and ourselves is us made in the image and likeness of our God who is love, then being love in the midst of the world is the most authentic, meek expression of who we are. And we talked about how we have our understanding of love from God's love, how God loves us. But also this love that God reveals to us, especially in Christ and most especially at Christ on the cross, we also manifest in our lives, first and foremost, in our love for God. For God loved us first, so too we love him. And if we love God, well, we respond to God's love by loving who God loves, the the neighbors around us, our brothers and sisters, and also all of creation, we're called to love. And that's why the two great commandments are to love our God with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength, and to love the neighbor as ourselves. And this last part of the second great commandment is what we're going to focus on today. Because our call to love God and love neighbor also reminds us of something that sometimes that we neglect sometimes, to care for ourselves. And during these times, we may find ourselves less inclined to take care of ourselves. You know? It doesn't mean that we have to be self-centered. And to love ourselves isn't to practice philoftia, which is a passion in the Orthodox tradition, a negative quality, a negative directing of our soul towards self-interest, self-preservation. But to love oneself is to love ourselves as we are, made in God's image and according to God's likeness. And so as we are made in God's image and likeness, we have an innate significance. We have an innate worth that we need to honor. This is the worth that we see in our brothers and sisters around us whether they're like us or not like us, whether they agree with us or disagree with us, we're called to love indiscriminately. But sometimes we forget that we need to take care of ourselves. We need to find time to recover and rejuvenate. We need time to be healthy and active. We have to have physical well-being, emotional well-being, mental well-being, and spiritual well-being. All of these are parts of what it means to be meek to be authentically ourselves. We have to take the time to know ourselves and honor the image of God that is in us and respond to the needs that we have. We can't neglect it or we're going to be incapable of doing anything else. If we are not fully ourselves, fully full of God's grace and love, if we are not taking care of ourselves, if we're spending all of our time doing things that we shouldn't be doing, if we're wasting our time, if instead of doing things that are life-giving, we're spending our time scrolling through our social media feed, or watching Netflix, or complaining about what's going on in the political sphere, and we're not taking the time to do what's life-giving. We're not going to have the energy, physical, emotional, or spiritual, to be authentically ourselves. We'll lose ourselves in these things that aren't actual expressions of our true identity. We might enjoy watching a movie or two on Netflix. We might enjoy staying 
up to date on what's going on in the world through our social media feeds or the news. We may love political discussion and thrive on it. But if we don't do it in moderation, in a way that we take care of ourselves, not only will we be inauthentic expressions of ourselves, we might start to take a turn towards being an absolute inauthentic expression of ourselves because we'll find ourselves not loving, not loving our neighbor, not loving God, because of our incapacity to love ourselves enough to take care of ourselves. And this isn't to shame us or to make us feel bad, but it's a call to think differently, act differently, engage in the world differently, and starting with the things that we do daily for ourselves so that we are energized for the work of love, love for God and love for our neighbor. So as we contemplate what it means to be meek in the midst of the world, to be authentic, humble, yet strong, expressions of God's image and likeness, we can't forget that we have to take care of ourselves. To love ourselves so that we can love God authentically and love our neighbor with that same authenticity. In this way, we will become theophanies of ourselves. We will become expressions of God's presence in the midst of the world by God's grace that flows through us because we will have channeled that through care for ourselves. Again, not self-centered. Again, not being self-indulgent. Again, not practicing philoftia or passionate self-love. But care. Strengthening ourselves. Practicing those things that we need to practice to be the most authentic versions of ourselves that we can. And in this way, we will find ourselves meek and ready to inherit the earth, which is what we will talk about in the next video. God bless you. We're here for you. We love you. Don't hesitate to reach out. Call us, email us, send us a message on social media, or leave a message in the comments section. Anything at all. We're here for you 24 hours a day. God bless you. Have a beautiful rest of your day.